All right, we are we're heading down side to cut three, 40 miles from nowhere. Uh, it, there's a new phrase that I picked up today from a DJ by the name of Sky. He said, I've already used it. He, he was talking about emotional fiction. And I said, oh, that's good. I'm going to use that. And, uh, and uh, uh, you know, with close ties, it, I, ri- I actually write a lot about death. You know, I, I was... I was making a joke, you know, today about you know, it's like I'm like the Elizabeth Kubler Ross of songwriters in a way, because you know st- stuff, uh, things I wish I'd said, and Adam's song, and a lot of songs about. I don't think I don't think I go to a macabre place with it. I don't think I could be accused of that. Perhaps or I could. Um, we'll see. But forty miles from nowhere, I just place myself in a uh, future reality that I hope I never face, that, uh, you know, if, if I were in a position to lose uh, Claudia, you know, my partner and my mate, and really the love of my life, it was, I don't know how I would handle it. You know, what would, you know I don't know what that isolation and that loneliness would be like, and I just kind of, put myself in that place and wrote 40 miles from nowhere at the bottom of the world. And and for me, it, it came out really resonant. I felt good enough about it, and I was emotionally, even though it was a fictitious premise, I felt really emotionally attached to it, and, I, and it felt true to me. And mainly I used our house, you know, on the top of the hill where you've been, the cedar grove there that we live in, and then our little dogs running across the road. And and uh, I kind of, the setting was where we live now, which is far from the bottom of the world, but I think losing love like that, you know, it, it pretty much puts you at the bottom of the world. So that's how the song came to be. And I'm, I'm really pleased and proud of the recording. I think it's a I think it's a really good recording. I'm really okay with that one. The transformative effect of death. Well, you know, is that thing both, you know, both of my parents uh, died in my arms, literally. And it's like, wow, what a blessing. You know, I've had the birth of four of my children and the loss of my parents, uh, you know, up close and personal. And, and I don't fear death at all, honestly, I don't. I, I, I suspect that when we leave this body and we go into wherever we go, that it's like, hallelujah, you know, if, if I'd have known it was this great, I'd have done this a lot sooner. But the thing that keeps me tethered to this world is, is the people I love, you know? It's like, I, 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 don't, I think it would probably be great to leave this old body, but it won't be great to leave the people I love, yeah. I, you know? Just can't see myself doing that. I gotta stick around. Now I'm getting choked up. 